Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can force update your Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra to update to Android 12 with One UI 4. Now, before we start, we need to find out the model name of your device. So swipe down at the top and tap on settings. Then you want to go down to the bottom and tap on about phone. In here, check the model number and the model name. So you want to take note of this or write it down on a piece of paper. And we need to go to a, a website to download the firmware. Now I will include the link in the video description so you, that you can click on it. And remember, you need to check the model number if you have a Galaxy S21 it will be different to the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So make sure you write down the model number on your device. And then we're going to switch off the phone. So I can swipe down at the top here and then tap on the power button. Then on the switch off screen, tap on power off, then power off to turn off your device. Mm. Okay, so in Google search, I'm going to print Galaxy S21 Ultra firmware. And in here, I'm going to go and download. So once you go to this website, which is included in the link, you can go and check your model number. And then you can select the country or the carrier that you want to download. And then you click on the link. You can see it say version 12, which is Android 12. And make sure that you check, make sure that you've got the right model name and then click on it. So let's say we're just gonna click on the country so select your country of origin and then we're going to need to sign into this website or you can just create an account and in here you can uh, download the software okay so just click on the link to download that okay next you will also need to download the olden software now again i will include it in the link where you can download olden software so download the latest version this is uh, this software will allow the device to be a flash with a firmware okay so download it onto your computer okay after you have downloaded the software it will look something like this so you want to unzip Odin I'm just gonna unzip it and then we also need to unzip or uncompress so we need to uncompress that zip file and we're going to drag it over to a folder so make sure that you decompress the zip file. Okay, after you have decompressed the five files, it should look something like this. Next, we need to open up Odin. So open up the Odin software and click on OK. And this is what it looks like right now. Okay, so we're gonna need to connect the USB cable to the computer so plug on the other end to the computer and this one onto your device but we don't do it yet because you need to press some buttons on your device so we need to press on the volume up and volume down button at the same time so we need to press on both buttons at the same time and when you do that then you can plug in the usb cable and make sure that the phone screen or the phone is off make sure the phone is switched off Okay, so let's put the device into download mode now. Press on both key, as you can see. Press and hold on the volume up and volume down, and then plug in this USB cable. And then just wait, and you can see now it is in download mode. And you want to press on the volume up button to continue. So press on the volume up button. And now we're in download mode. As soon as you do that, you should be able to see that on Odin 3, it picks up your device. It says zero com 11, and it says device added. And next, we're going to select the files uh, that we have uncompressed into uh, all of this text field. Okay, so now I'm going to, uh, you, so you can click on this BL button, AP, CP, and CSC. Or you can simply drag the file into the text field. So you can see here it says BL. If I go over here on my left hand side, there is a file called BL. I can simply just drag it in into the text field right here. So I drag it from over here and I place it in here and let go. And now it will try to check the files. And we're just going to um, do the next one. And then AP. 
you can also click on this button and select it from your uh, folder. So you can use a, a file directory to select a file or you can simply just drag it on. So I'm just going to simply drag and drop onto the text field. It will be much easier. So AP, you drop that. Now say please wait. So you just have to wait for that to finish first before we can uh, drag onto the next file. Now it will take a minute or two, so just be patient, it's not crashing or anything. It's, it's a large file, it needs to import a large files into the Odin software. So we're just going to uh, wait for a few minutes. Okay, once it's done, you should see it say leave CS. And now we're going to drag the CP file over. So I'm going to drag the file, CP file, into the CP text field. Okay, so that's done. We're going to go to the next file. The next one is quite important. Now you can see here in the CSC uh, text field, if there are two different files, it's got CSC underscore OXM and home underscore CSC. Now if you want to preserve your data and you want to keep all of your application data, photos of your data on the device, then you want to drag the home underscore CSC into the CSC text field. And if you want to install your device fresh with all the new data, everything is erased and reset it, then you choose CSC underscore OXM. I guess in most of your case, um, you would want to preserve the data. You simply just want to update Android. So uh, in my case, I'm going to drag home underscore CSC into the CSC text field because I want to preserve my data, I want to be able to uh, update my phone and still have all my data intact. So I'm going to select home underscore CSC. So guys, please be careful when you select this file. I cannot stress enough that if you select the wrong file, you will lose all your data on the device. So make sure that you choose home underscore CSC if you want to keep your file, if you want to keep your data on the device. Okay, so after that, um, you can leave the user data blank. It doesn't need to be uh, filled with anything. Just leave it blank. Uh, options of these things here, just leave it. Just leave them as it is. Uh, you do not need to select anything. Um, yeah, just leave everything as it is, all the default options. And then we're just going to click on the start button. So click on the start button. And now it will initiate the flash so you can see here at the bottom there is a progress bar right there so it's starting already to update your device so at this point um, leave your device there do not touch it do not turn it off do not do anything uh, as it might break your device if you pull out the plug uh, in the middle of the transfer now you can see on the computer there is a progress bar right here that progress bar should reflect the progress bar on your device so you can see they are the same. So once the progress bar is completed, the phone will restart and then it will try to install the software update. Okay guys, so it's nearly finished now. You can see now the phone uh, restarted and on Odin it's a pass with a green box. So that is a good sign. It's uh, say will succeed one, zero failed. And now the device will restart. Okay, on the next screen, you should see it say optimizing apps. Okay guys, so after a few moments, it has finished. Now I'm just going to check on the device. If I open up my photo galleries, the photos are still there. So it looks good. I'm going to swipe down at the top. And it's still saying finishing system update. If I go into settings, I'm going to go down to the about phone section. And then in here, we're going to tap on the software information. And you can see it said Android 12, One UI version 4. So that's it. That's it, guys. That's how you can uh, force update your Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, or the S21 Ultra to Android 12 running One UI 4. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy your new update. Thank you for watching.